uh, Obamacare. Let's get right to that point. Is Obamacare dead functionally? I think you will see a lot more withdrawals this year of plans who, what, we're in Nebraska. We're the only plan left in Nebraska. <clears throat> no good deed goes unpunished. And so we have now all the risk. So there isn't any risk sharing going on in Nebraska. It's all the risk. You're going to stay in it Nebraska? It will cost us a lot of money. Our top 1%. To 5% of our members, depending on the marketplace, are driving 50% of our overall cost structure. And so unless you fund that, that risk, like we do in Medicare Advantage, we get paid for the risk, you can't afford it. And so there isn't enough money in the ACA today as it's structured, even with its fees and taxes, to support the population that needs to be served. So that says to me what you're saying there is Obamacare functionally is dead because financially it's not sustainable. It is in a death spiral. Tell us more about that. Um, it's what happens in a, in, 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 in a population that continues to get riskier and riskier is the, race chase, the rates chase the risk. You try and raise your rates high enough. Last year it was on average 27%. <coughs> what happens are the people that are paying out of pocket for most of it leave because it becomes too expensive. I mean, you know that mathematical, mathematics education in the United States is working when somebody says, let's see, I'm going to pay this much premium. I've got a $6,000 deductible. Actually, the average deductible across the country is $3,600. It's up 15% this year alone. That's a lot of money. Right? And when I go to the doctor, I'm going to pay cash. And I only anticipate, nobody ever anticipates spending a day in the hospital or going to the doctor more than once. And I'm going to go to the doctor once and I'm going to pay cash. So premium plus pay cash. Why do I do this? I'll just pay the penalty and move on. Mm -hmm. and, and so that risk keeps leaving. The risk inside the pool keeps getting worse. The rates continue to chase it. And then the participants start to leave, either at the bottom of the risk pool, the healthy people, or the plans themselves. And that's what we're in. So what's the terminal date, then, if it's in a death spiral? A terminal date where it's simply it, unworkable for companies like yours to be involved? Uh, my, my anticipation will be that in 18, we'll see a lot of markets without any coverage. And will you pull out in, in 18? We have not yet made that decision. It sounds like you're going to. Uh, well, we'll do them. I mean, <laughs> what I know, and this is part of the decision that the judge made and, and this, the, the myopic view of that sort of view is we looked at, 18, at 17 when we made the decision to leave the exchanges, and 450 million was looking at 800 to 900 million, and those are company damaging moves when you start losing a billion dollars a year. Mm -hmm. So we withdrew to markets that allowed us to manage the risk we had in only four markets, and we're going to lose a lot of money in those markets this year. And, and so the idea for us is that we have an obligation to look forward. And one month does not a trend make. I know that in the insurance business for sure. Right. And we, we, have to, we, have to, we have to do more homework. We have until April to make that decision.